If you've ever tried recording audio or MIDI in Ableton Live, then you very likely have run into this issue. You go to arm a track and then you say, hey, let's actually record multi-track audio and select another track and you notice that the previous track deselects. Maybe you're using a MIDI controller live with Ableton Live and you go to arm a track, which is great. Uh, that works, it arms it. But then you go to arm your next track and you look in Ableton Live and notice that it lost that first track. Well, in this video, I wanna talk about what's causing that and two, how to solve it. So let's dive in. This will be a super short video, but hopefully we'll solve this problem for you. So number one, this is caused by a feature called exclusive arm. And what that means is when exclusive arm is enabled, that means you can only enable one track at a time. That is, unless you know a couple different shortcuts. Let me show you two shortcuts you can do on your computer without disabling this, and then we'll talk about how to disable exclusive arm. The first way is if I want to select multiple different tracks and record on them at the same time, then I can hold command if I'm on a Mac or control if I'm on a PC and click multiple arm buttons at the same time. So if you're on your computer and you want to enable multiple tracks at the same time without disabling exclusive arm, then hold command if you're on a Mac or hold control and click multiple tracks. Now there's another way, which I think is a little easier. Let's say I wanna record, enable, or arm all of these MIDI tracks. So what I'm gonna do is select this first MIDI track. I'm gonna hold shift and then select the last one. And then I'm gonna enable a record arm button on any of these and it's gonna enable on all of them. Now, if I click it again, it's gonna disable all of them. And if I click it again, it's going to enable all of them. That's all great, but let's get back to the issue of our MIDI controller. What do I do if I'm using a MIDI controller like this and from my MIDI controller, I want to um, arm multiple tracks at once? Well, that's where we're gonna have to disable exclusive arm. There's two really quick ways to do that. The first and easiest way, I think, is right click on your arm button and you'll see this option here that says arm exclusive. Okay. You only have to click that on one record button. You don't have to do that on each of these because this is a global feature. So with arm exclusive disabled, let me show you my MIDI controller. I'm going to select track one and you'll see that that's record enabled. Let's select track two. And now when I show you that, that is record enabled. And for good measure, let's select track three and you'll see that that is record enabled. So with uh, arm exclusive turned off, I can use a MIDI controller to select multiple tracks at once. And what's nice about this, particularly when I'm using this live with keys, if I want to take all three of these keys, sounds off. I could press all three of them at once and you'll notice in live they all turn off. I can press all three of them on at once and they all turn on. So that's a really nice feature. Now let me show you the final way to disable this just so you know. Uh, if you go into preferences which is command comma on a uh, Mac or control comma on a PC, go to your record warp launch tab and then under the record setting up here, you'll see exclusive. And this is disabled because I disabled that from that shortcut, but I can click arm here to turn that back on or turn it back off. And I, it goes without mentioning, but I'm gonna mention anyway, if I disable this here or I re-enable it, then changing the setting here, right click and doing that, is controlling the same setting. So if I disable it there, then I'm gonna disable it here. So that's a look at how to arm multiple tracks in Ableton Live, how to arm multiple tracks in Ableton Live using a MIDI controller, and then ultimately how to disable exclusive arm in Ableton Live. Now, if you wanna learn more about using Ableton Live, I would love to have you subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you look at the first comment that I've left here, you could click subscribe. Uh, be subscribed to the channel and give me a thumbs up if you like this video and uh, we'd love to have you stick around. We post new content every single day, 10 a.m. Central. Would love to have you hang out. Thanks so much for watching this video and we'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.